and we're back to chat gpt let me show you how i used it to write this book completely from scratch but i don't even know if writing is still the right word when you use chat gpt but i've generated this book using it it has 323 pages and it's live as you can see at least on the german amazon page i could already buy it as the kindle version here i've generated everything using chat gpt including the pen name so here william monroe i just used this and i've also used chat gpt to generate the book blurb there's the little text that you can see on the sales page on amazon and i even used it to generate title ideas let me show you how i went about it and the biggest tip up front when you want to use chat gpt to write a book fiction or non-fiction but in non-fiction it's way easier you want to write a book that has chapters that don't rely on each other what i mean by that is you don't have to read chapter 7 to understand chapter 14. so you could read chapter 14 and then 21 and then number 3 and you would understand the book and its content and if you have an idea if you find an idea like this about a book about the content of it ChatGPT can write this completely autonomous let me just use the same principle here and this time we'll make it about 99 ideas to think about if you want to be healthy so the book that i've already generated was about finances getting rich and now we'll make it about health and for this i need a list of 99 experts in the field of fitness health nutrition industry stuff like this and then chat gpt gives you a list and you could for example say give me 20 more just give me the names and then you collect all of these names Another approach is to tell Chat GPT to give the most famous quotes in a certain field. So in our case here, the health industry, nutrition, fitness, something like this. It will not generate 99 at once, but you're going to find some and then just tell it to generate 20 more until you have as many as you need. Some quotes are by anonymous people. You don't want to use that, but there's stuff that you could use. You could also use the names list that we generated and then tell ChatGPT to give you the most famous quotes related to these names in the specific field that you want to write your book about. So yet again, our health industry. And now we have quotes from the names out of our list that we've generated. I did that for the finance book. And the next step is to take one of these quotes and write the general prompt. So we want to write a short article for each of these quotes, which is going to be a chapter in itself. And then make this a little bit more concise. So what you want, you want to have it readable. You want to have actionable advice for the reader. And you also want to add that you want bullet points, formatting, subheadings, stuff like this when appropriate, add it and tell Jet GPT to make this article around 1000 words. From my experience, you won't get 1000 words, but if you tell it to that you want to have 1k words, you're going to have the longest that it can write in one go. So it's a good idea to add that. Then save this prompt because you want to repost it over and over and over again and just replace the quote and the name of the author of the quote 
and this is the way you generate article per article for each chapter so when you have something like 99 ideas for living healthy stuff like this you then have 99 short chapters and you can copy paste this and for example use open office And here we are now. You can make this a chapter. It was by this guy. I don't even know him. And this was the quote right here. So make this a heading. Uh, let me check. I believe it was under tools. You can check how many words there are. Yeah, it was tools. Check the word counts and you can see it's 729. So one of 1000, but this is usually what you get. When you add 1000, you will be at least about 500 per chapter. And if you count that, you can see here 323 pages out of 99 quotes about how to get rich, how to make money, stuff like this. And then you have an entire book. Once you've done that, you want to have a pen name. You may have to reprompt it so that it gives you real life names and not some marketing stuff here. Mindful Wellness Sage. We don't want that. We want to have a real name. Maybe here Lauren Harper. Let's just use this. And then you want to write the book blurb. So tell ChatGPT to write it with the title and Lauren Harper as the author, focus on selling the book to potential readers and pointing out how it can change people's life and make them live healthier and better. And now you're getting this small book blurb that you can upload, for example, to KDP when you want to sell it on Amazon. And that's all there is. So the most important tip here is find a book idea that allows you to write a book in which the chapters aren't connected. The reader doesn't have to know chapter 7 to understand chapter 8 and 29. So each chapter should be seen as a small book in itself. And when you can find such an idea, you can have ChatGPT write this entire thing totally autonomously and you don't have to edit much in it to have a sellable product. And this sir can write a non-fiction book using ChatGPT. I hope this video was helpful, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.